Helen Keller was born in Alabama in 1880. As a baby, Helen could see and hear like the rest of her family. But when she was almost two, she became very sick. She went blind. Being blind meant she could not see anymore. She also became deaf. Being deaf meant she could not hear anymore. Helen could not hear words, so she did not learn to talk for a long time. When she wanted something, she moved her hands in a special way. Her family could understand some of those hand signs. But they could not make signs that she understood, so they could not talk to her. Life was hard for Helen. She wanted to communicate, but she could not. Communicating means sharing ideas. Helen wanted to share her thoughts with other people. She also wanted to understand other people. When Helen was almost seven, a teacher came to live at her house. The teacher's name was Anne Sullivan. Anne taught Helen to communicate her thoughts and feelings through her sense of touch. Using her fingers, Anne traced. The shape of the letters into Helen's hand. She traced each letter of the word doll, D O L L. Then she gave Helen a doll. Anne spelled many, many words into Helen's hand. One day. Helen understood that the feelings on her hand meant different words. Now Helen could communicate without speaking. Helen learned words for many things. Then Anne taught Helen to read Braille. Braille is writing with bumpy dots. People who are blind can feel the dots on the paper with their fingers. The dots spell out words. Helen learned to read books in Braille. She learned to write with Braille too. She also learned to read lips by touch. Helen would touch people's mouths with her hand when they spoke. Helen could understand the words by feeling how their lips moved. Later, she even learned to speak. When Helen Keller grew up, she went to Radcliffe College. At that time, it was very hard for a person who was deaf and blind to go to college. Helen Keller became famous for being the first deaf and blind person to finish college. Later, she also became a famous writer and speaker. Helen Keller gave many speeches about living with a disability. A person with a disability has a mind or body that works differently. A disability can make it hard to do some things. Helen Keller spoke up for all people with disabilities. She said that they should be treated fairly. Helen Keller also gave speeches saying that women should be treated fairly. She said that women should be able to do everything men could do. Helen Keller traveled all over the world. She wrote many books and articles. She gave hundreds of speeches. She even received an award from the president for her courage and work for others. Helen Keller died in 1968. Today, many streets 
and schools are named after her. Some people even celebrate her birthday, June 27th, as Helen Keller Day. Helen Keller, one of the world's truly great women, arrives at Kingsford Smith Airport, Sydney, to begin an Australian-wide lecture tour. Out of her own darkness, she has brought light and hope and courage to tens of thousands of afflicted people. Stricken blind and deaf at two years of age, Miss Keller consequently could never learn to speak normally. When she addresses the young students at Sydney's Deaf and Dumb Institute, her artificially acquired monotone is interpreted by Miss Thompson for those children with partial or aided hearing. I know every step of the road you are taking. And I don't need so it's and to turn the news. And I rejoice at your cheer and determination. And the obstacles you meet are many. Because the obstacles you meet are and, many. And who live in the world? Put life strongly and, and, and will choose. And when you go out to life's struggles and adventures, you, you will raise a banner. You will raise a banner. Who follow you. For the day who follow you. I hope you enjoyed the story about Helen Keller. I'll see you in the next video.